support CGT give us a subscribe hello and welcome I'm a Viking board and today we're going to be talking about something we've known for many ages it is called fire just like that just fire now the gadget we're talking about today is actually a magician gadget it call, it's called the pyro mini what is the Pyro Mini? Well, it's a small device you can carry on your wrist, like this, or just click it off and put it somewhere and use a remote to trigger it. A little remote, just like that. It's just a magician's trick to create fire, as if you would shoot fireballs or an object would shoot the fireballs. Is it dangerous? Well, yes, of course. When you're playing with fire, you always have to be careful. Keep in mind this is not a toy, not a kid's toy at all. It's just a nice gadget to do some performance or magic. So how does it work? Well, let me show you by filling it up. So the Pyro Mini it comes in a nice little box with everything you need, except for the instructions. Now those instructions can be found online on our website including videos on how to do everything. So the Pyro Mini is what you get. You get a wristband to click it on. Two more wristbands to conceal it. One of them even has a little pouch where you can put the remote control. Practical, yes. This way you don't need to put it in the pocket. You can just hide it up your sleeve, activate it and it goes off. If you're going to use the Pyro Mini in an object at a certain distance, there's a small antenna with a small jack which clicks in the antenna, which clicks in the remote, so you have much greater distance to pull it off. You get some Velcro strips if you want to attach it somewhere. You get a, a trigger just to clean it. Also a little brush. Use this after every time you fired it. Don't go in there too hard. Just go slow, turn, turn, pull it out gently. Don't go twisting like a maniac. It will damage the coils, which will heat the cotton and set it off. We also get the cotton, of course. Now upon arrival, the cotton will be slightly wet, moist. That's to make sure it doesn't go off when it's being shipped. You get the flask paper. The flag paper, which is important to use the same one as the company recommends. There are like a hundred types of them, all different variations, different prices. Use this one because it just works better. It is made with this in mind. You get the little trigger, which is what you use a lot. If you should lose this, you can always order one more. So how does it work? Well. You get a piece of flask paper and you cut it. Don't make it too big, don't make it too small. It is recommended that you do the first 15, 16 shots just to practice. You'll see how much paper you need, how much cotton you need and how far things fly, shoot, and how much noise they make. So you take about this one for a small flame with a little distance you fold it, you can take the little tweezer, see that, and you put it ready, because first, I forgot to do this, we need to put in some cotton, the cotton inside will ignite because of the coils, and that will set off the flask paper, so you take just a little bit of cotton, not too much, really make it small, throw a bowl, you put it on top and you gently push it in. You also fill the second hole. You have two shots. If you take too much, it will be a loud bang or it might not even set it off. So small ones, again, practice makes perfect, right? Put them in and then you go for the paper. Just like that. And you roll it up very tightly. And 
and you just put it in there. You can gently push it down, but not too hard. You don't want to damage anything or make it too hard because that will just make the bang louder and that will foil the illusion that you're creating. So again, the second paper. Once you've done this a few times, everything will go a lot faster, of course. Keep in mind, it is very thin, so it might not work from the start, <laughs> but you'll get there. So just roll it up. Very nice, tight. Put it down there. And you're pressing down. The device itself has two settings. The setting for on, for a single shot or rapid fire. Bam bam. There's also a button here, which activates it. You can use the remote or just press the button. So now it's ready to fire. Just push it on, give it some time for the coils to heat. And then, then you press the button. Just as simple as that. So, in case of a misfire, or one not going off, as we have right now, you'll turn it off, turn it on again, and just wait for it to heat up. You press again. When it's not going, okay, this happens. It's a device. You turn it off. You give it a moment. Just wait for it. You don't look straight into it. That would not be wise. Get the tweezers. Take out the paper. And the cotton. Okay, this one is in very deep. Too deep. <laughs> Up. There we go. So as you see, I've used this device like 100, 200 times easily. And from time to time, even I still manage to screw up by putting in too much cotton, putting in too deep. So always be careful when playing with such devices. After it's done, put it in, twist it, put it down gently. Again for the other one. If you should lose one of the spare parts, you can always order more online on the website, which I will leave a link. If you have troubleshooting, if it's not going off, make sure it's turned off. Do not look into it and then take out everything very carefully without damaging it. The remote itself is very easy, on off switch, one click, that's it. It uses a standard CR. 2032 battery which is available worldwide so let me just you give you one more quick demonstration so the pyro mini it is a nice gadget when it works then you can really trick people scare people keep in mind as always again i've said it a lot but you're playing with fire and that is dangerous so be careful what you do with it. Now let me show you what happens when you put a little bit of this flask paper together and you ignite it. See? As you saw, you need to be really be careful with handling this. The flask paper will ignite very fast. So what do you do? You be careful and if you're storing it make sure you store it in a box on a safe and cool place now imagine this if you have some friends coming over with kids or not and you're showing them around for the first time you're like hey i got this i got this i got a deer mounted or even a boar like oscar imagine that happening those kids will be frightened as hell even grown-ups 
Would have been nice to have a dragon, but I'm stuck with Oscar. Say hello to Oscar. It's his film debut today. You can also put this maybe outside. If the mailman comes by, no, no, I shouldn't be suggesting things like this. People can get really hurt because they're playing with fire. But it would be funny if they peed their pants, right? So, as always, guys, subscribe to the channel. We got lots more gadgets coming up. Also, another way to make some money. Passive money, so you're just like, hmm. I'm sitting here, I'm making money. If you want to know those things, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And as always, have a good day.